Russia is suspected of orchestrating a plot over the summer to plant incendiary devices on planes headed to the U.S. and Canada. They ignited in Germany and the United Kingdom back in July. ABC's Allison Kostick explains the alleged intent behind this scheme. A multinational investigation is underway looking into the alleged Russian plot that involved potentially sending explosive devices on board U.S. and Canada-bound planes, as first reported by the Wall Street Journal. U.K. authorities saying devices ignited in July at two separate DHL cargo hubs, one in Leipzig, Germany, the other in Birmingham, England. The move was supposedly a test run for future attacks on planes headed to North America. There's a real question here whether this was an intentional act by the Russian intelligence to bring down an airplane or to test ability to get an incendiary device onto airplanes or did they just want to scare the Western public. Officials believe it's part of a wider plot where Russia schemed to send the devices through commercial passenger or cargo planes in Europe that would potentially end up in the United States. According to the journal, one of the suspects seen here at a DHL in Lithuania was arrested for allegedly sending four devices to the UK. The problem is that these packages were very, very small, but even a small amount of burning magnesium can bring down a whole airplane. Authorities in Poland arrested and charged four people in connection with the explosions. The TSA had already increased security in recent months for certain cargo shipments. If an airplane were brought down over the North Atlantic under suspicious circumstances that all commercial aviation would be grounded immediately around the world for a long period of time. Polish officials are reportedly trying to find two more suspects. A Kremlin spokesperson denied involvement, but a senior U.S. official says this is very serious, adding there are an astonishing number of things the Russians are doing to try to disrupt not only the election, but the country in general. Alison Kosick, ABC News, New York.